Well, this year, Abilene's Independence Day celebration is getting bigger than ever with the Abilene Freedom Festival, July 3rd and the 4th. Here to tell us about the big parade kicking off the festival is Amy and Daryl Carnes. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, tell us how exciting this is to have our first parade to go along with the Freedom Festival. We're very excited about it. Um, the, of course, the Abilene Freedom Festival, it's our very first year and it'll be all day on the 4th, but there's all the the fun neighborhood parades we didn't want to interrupt, so we're actually going to kick it off on July 3rd at 6.30. We're going to head straight down Cypress, so we want everybody to come out, uh, line the streets. We have over 65 floats in the parade right now, and then after the parade, the Paramount's actually going to show Captain America, so we're going to kick off the 4th of July. And tell us what kind of people are going to be in this parade to see. Sure. There's a wide assortment. Uh, we've got uh, the Jeep Club's going to be out there with several Jeeps. Uh, we've got local businesses that are going to be representing with... Uh, floats or vehicles. We've got our major sponsors, the uh, major dealerships here in town. Um, we're going to be out with cars for our Grand Marshals. We're going to have the Dias Airmen. Uh, several groups of the Dias Airmen are going to be out marching um, in the parade. And then uh, a few classic cars that are going to kind of run up and down or run in the streets as well as um, kiddos on bikes, Segways, the Shriners. We have a lot. Right. And Colonel Parker from Dias is actually our Grand Marshal. I day. love it. Now, going to a parade downtown, sometimes it can be hard to find a spot. Sure. This is the first year, but uh, when do you expect people to start showing up, and when should we show up and stake out our spot so we have a good view of the parade? Uh, so we'll kick off the parade at 6.30, so okay. we'll get there a little before, and we're going to be on Cypress, so um, anywhere between First and the Convention Center, just line it up. We're actually going to have music piped all the way down Cypress and MC, so you'll be able to hear everything. And so what is it like to kind of organize a parade like this for the first year? What are you expecting for this? Oh. It's, know, we, we it's the first year. It's yeah. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's our first time to do anything like this. I mean, we didn't have really have grandiose expectations of what was going to happen, but uh, you know, we've got 62, 65, 65 floats now, um, which we think is a is a mm -hmm. huge accomplishment for the it first is. year. So we're just looking forward to a great parade, a safe parade, and we have a good to come out, have a good time, and then go over to the Freedom Festival on the fourth and, and continue that time. And so, uh, talk to us too, just about how. Abilene is celebrating America two days in a row, so we obviously like to party. We do, and yeah. actually, kind of fun, we had word on Tuesday there is a group from New York coming down to do a story on the Abilene Freedom Festival. So Wow. Um, it's not just local now, but... I love it. Yeah, we'll be out there. We have a car show, a bike show, merchants, food trucks, um, a VIP tent, kids area, more that I'm forgetting, and, um, of course, the fireworks show at 10 o'clock, and Jamie live Richards right before that. Live, live bands all day? Live bands all day, yeah. and we can't forget... The Sharon's barbecue dinner on the fourth. You got to get your tickets for that. Um, I guess just, are you still accepting people into the parade, even though it's getting close to the fourth? It is, and um, we've we've kind of got it narrowed down, but we can squeeze a few more in if they will go to our website at abilenefreedomfestival.com and fill out a form. We'll we'll try to get them in. All right, and tell us again where the parade is, where the route is going to take us, take us, and where we should sit up at. Uh, the parade is still going to be on Cypress Street. It'll come down First Street turn north on Cypress or go down to the Civic Center is where it's going to end. So bring your lawn chairs out, jump on 1st Street, um, Cypress Street, find you a good spot, okay. find some shade, and just kick back and enjoy the, enjoy the parade. All right. Well, we appreciate y'all coming on and doing this for our great city. If you would like to come out for the Abilene Freedom Festival, the parade will kick off the events July 3rd, 6.30 p.m. in downtown Abilene. The party will continue with events through the night of the 4th. And for more information, you can call 794-1717. And you can find a full schedule of events at AbileneFreedomFestival.com.